For the next clip, we're going to make a funny little creature hiding in a box. For this project, you need an empty cardboard box, some fabric, fur fabric's good, a needle and thread, scissors, sticky tape, a little bit of glue and a felt tip pen. First of all, we're going to sew the creature. I've got some fur fabric here that strokes down beautifully that way. So I'm going to turn it inside out, so the fur furry bits on the inside, and I'm going to stitch up one side and round the top. And perhaps you already know how to stitch by going up and down. And every time you make a stitch, make sure you go through both layers of the fabric. Up, down, up, down, all the way up the edge, because this is going to be our little green caterpillar. And then when you get to the end where the fold is, just go over and over and over and over in the same place. And that's the caterpillar sewn, so you can cut off the thread. We don't need the needle anymore and there he is, but he's inside out. So we have to turn him very carefully, holding on to the bit that we sewed and push him the right way out. Ho ho! Now he's starting to look like a caterpillar and see if he fits on your finger. Oh, but he can't see what he's doing. So we'll get some glue and stitch him on a couple of eyes. Right up to the top of his head is a very funny caterpillar this one. Two blobs of glue and a little blob of glue for his tongue. Here's his little red tongue made from paper. Stick that into the middle. Black felt tip pen just to do a dot on his eyes. Round and round. And he can just be drying there because the glue takes a little while to stick completely. We'll leave that to dry and look at the cardboard box. Now I'm going to go for this corner of the cardboard box to make it the right size. And this is where you need a grown up to get you started. Just cutting through the sides. A short way along. And up this side, oopsie daisy, it's quite hard cutting this, around the edge. So I've cut out all of that and I don't need it. Here's the bit I do need, just one corner. There's a flap there that's going to close in and a flap there that's going to close down. So we're going to need a bit of sticky tape. Now luckily I've got some that I've just pulled off my reel. Fix up that corner nice and tight. That's it. And the lid, we don't need to fix that. There's the top of the box with the lid. There's the bottom of the box. This is where you definitely need somebody bigger to help you because you're going to cut a hole out of the bottom of the box. Just big enough for your finger to go through. So I've pushed through the bottom of the box, which isn't easy because it's two layers of cardboard. And I've cut a hole out. So now I can see through the bottom of the box. And that's where your little creature is going to live. So we push him in so that his lower end is coming out of the box and that's where your finger goes, one finger in there. And then what you do is close the lid. And when the lid's closed, you say, Grandma, I found something interesting in the garden. Do you want to see? You open it up and it says, Oh, that's nothing. I say, Oh, yes, it's a caterpillar. It's waving at you. Hello. And that's how to make a caterpillar in a box of your very own. Bye bye.